Shinano Coleos 2.0 DC 175 AWD Xtronic 2017 Review in an ultra-competitive class, the Renault Coleos is attractive and capable even if it doesn't reinvent the genre. What is it? Having axed its first-generation Coleos from the UK in 2010, Renault has decided now is the time to bring this new version back to our shores, driven by booming sales in the large SUV segment, albeit not quite so booming as its smaller siblings. It also means Renault has a complete family of SUVs, so existing owners of Capture or Cadre have the option to step up to the Coleos. It's a simple lineup for the Nissan X-Trail rival, with which it also shares a platform. There are two diesel engines only, a 1.6-liter C130 in 6-speed manual and two-wheel drive and a 2.0-liter C175 which is four-wheel drive and available in both manual and 7-speed auto Xtronic. We drove the latter auto, which is expected to be the biggest seller in the UK. There's no petrol option, but Renault says it's available elsewhere so if there was demand, it could easily be introduced. What's it like? The Coleos is a very likable car. We tested the top of two trim options, the Signature Nav, which has an impressive amount of equipment, including Sate Nav, 19-inch alloys, an 8.7-inch touchscreen and full leather seats. That said, the lower trim, the Dynamic S Nav, will be more than enough for most with rear parking camera, panoramic sunroof, 7-inch screen and plenty of safety systems. It even has heated and ventilated cup holders, not something many cars can boast. The Coleos is Renault's flagship car in terms of interior quality and technology and rightly so, it's impressive. The infotainment system on the 8.7-inch touchscreen is well designed and intuitive, the layout is well considered, and there's plenty of practicalities, for USBs and lots of cubby holes for starters. The leathers and plastics are also good quality. Space is decent. A wheelbase of 2,705 mm, identical to the Nissan X-Trail, means good rear leg room, although the roof line isn't great for tall bodies. The boot is 579 liters, beating the X-Trail by 29 liters but losing out to the Skoda Kodiak 630 liters. Interestingly, Renault is not offering a seven-seat version of the Coleos, unlike competitor, the Kodiak, for example. Renault's UK boss Vincent Tourette points to the Grand Scenic as an answer to those families needing a seven-seater, and considers it a key differentiator which maintains the MPV's relevance in a marketplace so heavily skewed to SUVs. To drive, the Coleos is a friendly beast. The power is more than enough at motorway speeds, and the 172 bhp diesel is a decent engine that'll easily haul a fully laden Coleos on long motorway slogs. There's also adequate low in torque. Hearing the acronym CVT injects fear into any respectable motoring journalist because, quite frankly, most of these gearboxes are appalling. Renault insists this is an advanced CVT which uses a step system to mimic a sequential gearbox. To some extent, that's true, it's infinitely better than most CVTs. It struggled most when gaining ground quickly in first and second gears, inducing a unpleasant growl from the engine. The suspension is built for comfort rather than dynamism, while handling is stable and predictable. If you're looking for more direct steering or agility, the Skoda Kodiak is a better bet, though the compromise there is ride quality which isn't as soft as the Coleos. We also had the chance to cover some off-road ground in the Coleos in 4WD lock mode, which permanently engages four-wheel drive at speeds of less than 25 miles per hour and distributes torque 50-50 to the front and rear. There's also 210mm ground clearance. Admittedly, we weren't tackling gargantuan swamps, but on a torrid day of rain, the car held its ground well, not least on a hairy hill start which, at least from the driver's seat, seemed about 45 degrees. degrees.